What is going on today guys? Welcome back to the channel. What is going on today guys? Welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time to the channel, blame it on the algorithm. Smash the like on the video right now if you enjoyed that demo track and you're here for the Schecter. Without further ado, I give you the C7 SLS Elite in blood red. This thing is gorgeous. It's a killer. Loving this thing. Now, uh, this is my second seven string guitar that I've had here at the home studio. And you're probably thinking to yourself, you know, why do you need more than one? Well, I'm going to tell you, that's a great question. So my first seven string is an Ibanez RGA 71AL. And yes, you have to memorize that model number. I'm just kidding. Uh, the Ibanez is a 26 and a half inch, you know, standard Fender scale length. And if you're familiar with that, you probably know that it's more difficult to do drop tunings, lower tunings, and stuff like that with that standard scale length because you come into a whole host of issues with things like you either have a lot of fret buzz or you have the string action so high that it's difficult to play and there's a lot of flub and flap with the strings when you try to play fast and try to do a lot of quick rhythm stuff and a lot of down picking. So I wanted something that was a longer scale length. I knew that, but I didn't want something that was really long. I didn't want the 27 inches or 30 inches or whatever. I'm not into the baritone thing, you know, and that's a personal preference. I just don't care for the aesthetic of it. I don't like the look of the extended, super long neck. And I don't want to have to reach out all the way down here to play, you know, whatever, first position. So I just kind of held off on it till now. Schechter offers this guitar here in 26 and a half inch scale length, which is chef's kiss. Perfect. Because for me, it's a perfect compromise. It's not too long. and It's not too short. I can use a slightly lighter string gauge. I can keep the tension pretty taut, you know, where you want it, where it's comfortable. Uh, and it's very comparable to my standard tuned six string guitars. It's standard, you know, the feel is pretty much the same across the board for those. Also, with the 26 and a half inch length, you don't have to really get reacclimated every time you go back to your six string guitars. They feel almost identical in length. You really don't notice a difference at all. So I get all the benefit with none of the uh, fuss of having the super long neck. I don't need it. It's not for me. So this is perfect. Uh, Schechter does offer some other models as well in that same scale length, the 26 and a half inch. I think uh, Aaron Marshall and Keith Merrill are offered in this length. Uh, and then they have some 27 inch ones too. This is just great. I love this thing. So spec wise, what are we talking about here? Uh, swamp ash body. You've got the two body wings there. Either side of the seven piece neck. Obviously it's a neck through construction, so it's nice and uh, secure. And uh, the neck, it consists of maple, walnut, and paduic. You've got on the front uh, ebony fingerboard with 24 extra jumbo stainless steel frets. You've got abalone offset inlays, gorgeous. And abalone side dot markers. You don't have lumen lays on this guitar. And that's okay because I'm not usually playing in the dark anyways. Uh, Fishman Fluence Modern Pickups. You've got a hip shot bridge, of course. I've got that on a, a dozen other guitars. I love it. It works. Ernie Ball compensated nut. Now this is my first experience with that nut. I haven't had one before. Uh, seems to do its job and do it well, I guess. And you've got here push pull pots for both the volume and the tone knob. Three way selector switch, three way blade switch, call whatever you want. Uh, a lot of tonal options there. Now, as we get up to the headstock, we're looking at Schechter branded locking tuners. Now, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So first of all, the good. This thing plays amazing, stays in tune really well. Um, it's hella fun just to look at this thing and play it. I mean, I can't put it down. Honestly, I've been having so much fun with this thing since I got it here. The ugly. These tuners, the Schechter branded locking tuners, are absolutely terrible. I don't know what happened at the factory or where they got this batch, but these are just terrible. I don't know what else to say. The tuning ratio is so off that it takes like 180 degrees to get the string to move at all. And uh, I hope Schechter sees this video one day and they look into it because the QC on these things needs to improve. For a guitar costing well over $1,000, currently this retails for $1,400 in the US, you expect something better than that. I mean, that's just uh, terrible. I don't know what else to say about it. So those tuners got to go ASAP. I'll probably, probably replace them with Godos or something else that's just a higher quality, higher ratio, uh, tuning ratio. So basically that's a guitar, man. In a nutshell, this thing is awesome. Loving it. If you want to check out this guitar in more detail, check out my link below to zounds.com. They've got this guitar in stock and they have everything you need for your musical needs. Using my affiliate link helps out the channel and uh, helps support the channel and it doesn't cost you a dime. I really do appreciate it, guys. So that's pretty much it for today. Gonna wrap this one up quick. Thanks a lot for watching. Like I said before, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm out.
See ya!